Nation, I have covered this great, the king of sports, for many, many years. And I must say very candidly, I am totally impressed with the efforts of the promoters for the big one at Madison Square Garden this coming Monday night. Two title bouts, six-band tag team action, and a whole lot more. Tito Santana, it is you, sir, who will be challenging the magnificent Don Morocco for the Intercontinental title a couple of days away. Your thoughts going in on this one? Well, Gene, this is it. And I'm ready, Don Morocco. You know, I overheard you talk about the fact that I might knock you down, but you're going to come right back up. You know, I've been following you, Morocco, and lately you haven't been coming up quite as fast as you were several months ago. Well, I know, Morocco, what I'm capable of doing, and I know how much I've prepared. And now I know that I'm ready, and I know that I'm coming after you in the garden, brother. I'm coming to beat you. Le garantizo a toda la gente mexicana, los latinos, todos los puertorriqueños que me están escuchando, vengo a representar a todos ustedes y a ganarle a Morocco aquí en mi casa. ¡Arriba! Big, big opportunity for the great Mexican star, the popular Tito Santana. Gentlemen, gentlemen, the Listen, incredible Hulk Hogan. Never in the history of wrestling has ever anything like this ever been pulled on anybody. Like they're trying to do with the Iron Sheik and yours truly, Freddie Blassie, Ayatollah Blassie. I'm so mixed, I'm so confused. But regardless, listen, Hulk mania, you've bitten off this time much more than you can choose. Six foot nine, six foot ten, three hundred pounds. My man has been suplexing his sparring partners. Six foot nine, six foot ten, just as easily as he did Bob Backlund. Bally, bally. You know, Iron Cheek, I'm very curious. Has all of this confusion from Mr. Blassie been transmitted to you? That's right. It's confusing for myself and all the Iranian people in the New York City, too. What happened to Bob Backlund? What happened to his arm? What happened to his shoulder? Now they bring the Hulk Hogan, the biggest American animal. Mr. Hulk Hogan, remember, remember, the camel is big too. But the camel doesn't have a brain like the Aron Sheik. You doesn't have a brain. You doesn't have empty here. Mr. Hulk Hogan, remember, your neck is not bigger than Bob Buckland's neck. And your arm is not bigger than Bob Buckland's arm. Swear to Ayatollah, after I get that camel clutch, you should have crawled, or Bob Buckland should have crawled. Let's see how riled up. You see how riled up. I don't want to get you started. We're taking the belt back to Iran, where it rightfully belongs, and where it will stay. I thank you very much, gentlemen. In addition to all of that, we've got six-man tag team action. Listen to this lineup, if you will. Tony Atlas, Rocky Johnson, and Andre the Giant to meet the Samoans, Captain Lou right Albano. Okay. and grooming. Captain Pardon? Lou Albano and the Pardon? Okay. Are you paying attention? In the last encounter... It was Rocky Johnson, Tony Atlas, Madison Square Garden, I believe December 26th, and S.D. Jones. So we crippled, humiliated, and had S.D. Jones carried out. Now they got the big goof. Now they got Andre the Giant. Andre, Madison Square Garden, do you think, you big goof, you individualist, that you can control the team? Do you feel you can barely Andre. read and write? You're a complete halfway. Wait a minute. Do you think you've got enough behind you to guide the team? Hold it just a second. Do you think you've got continuity? Hold nothing. Boogie. Boogie means go ahead. Gentlemen, I'm Boogie sorry. Means honey, come, we are out of time. Come, come, tell him, Baba, I have just got to bring in at this time, if I may. Come on, it. Sergeant, Sergeant Slaughter. You know what we need around here is a little order. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Have I made myself clear? I can't hear you, Ivan Putsky. <laughs> you must be Polish if you think you can beat me. What do you think this is? Some fun and games? Everybody's waving the flag all of a sudden. I told you, Sheik, don't blow your horn too loud around here. Ivan Putsky, you're going down, and we don't need bums like you around here anymore. You're dismissed as you were. I thank you very much, Sergeant Slaughter. Ladies and gentlemen, here in New York, Monday night, this Monday night, the Wrestling Spectacular kicking off a brand new year, one you won't want to miss.